Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. At the end of the last episode I said I was going to run through our people's equipment and just have a quick look at what we could potentially do for upgrades. Uh, what I'm really focused on at the moment is uh, looking at, at like the weapons and going well we could we could upgrade to a Wembley here that kind of stuff and uh, making sure that we're utilizing all the correct uh, specialties that our people have. Um, so starting from the top we're going to run down yeah that's good that's good Jackson we've just done acrobat the sparrow is the best you can do uh, the BZ 61 is the best you can do and what this is really telling me is I should probably work on getting our people some more proficiencies because we're finding new and interesting weapons and I want to be able to actually take them out on missions. Uh, you know what, we're going to give you the MG-51. And uh, we will put a rimfire suppressor on that. That is an absolute beast fortress. Um, over here, the RP is probably the best. And the GAL is almost certainly the best. Stuntman M10, definitely the best. We're going to keep you with the shotgun. I like shotguns. Can we give that a bit more? Yeah, let's get it a cut, cut angled hexagonal barrel. Uh, Doctor, what have we got over here? We can give you an upgrade. Uh, no, we can't. You've got a Wembley and a Gal already, so you are good to go. Uh, we can make that a bit bigger, though. Duke. Duke, we can upgrade the Cobra. Switch that to a Wembley. Deadpan M10 is the best. We could definitely upgrade that Wembley though. We can't use the Bone Crushers with it. That's alright. We'll find someone else to take them. Over here, there's not actually a great deal more we can do there. And we are over halfway through our team. Your good frigate. We've got a Wembley. Ah, we can give you bone crushers for it. M10. Yeah, that's fine. Marlin RP. Ooh, we can swap that over for a G3 now. Or we can give you an AMR. AMR. It's a big one. It's such a big one. And instead of that shotgun... Let's give you something which can be automatic. And we'll give you the RP. It, it works out slightly more for single shots. I think that'll be fine. Roxy, what are we going to do with you? Ooh. We could give you a semi. Yeah. We'll give you the riot slugs. It reduces the damage but makes them stunned. Okay. And the M10 is almost certainly the best. Oh no, no, we can swap that over for an M12. So upgrades coming in. RP4 over here, we're gonna keep. Cobra, we can swap over for Wembley. Cobra, we can swap over for Wembley. Put those bullets back in. TKB uh, is actually going to be the nicest thing that we've got here. And it's worth doing this periodically just to make sure you're not falling behind with your equipment. Because it's so easy to just send people straight out on missions again and not even really think about what they're going to be using. Uh, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. Right, so we've ended up with one room for us to press some more. There we go, let's put it on there. And that is a reasonable setup, I'd say. Uh, right, in terms of what we're doing, uh, we've got the marquee device being installed at the moment, but other than that, we are just ticking forwards. And we have a lot more things that we can uh, pump into people. Uh, Jackson, let's give you TST. You can be our trial for this. Uh, when we need money, I will sell our extra equipment. But for the moment, there's no there's no need for it. 
Uh, we need our Goxie before we can do that one, so we'll leave that alone. Deadpan, you're getting TST next. Vampire Suppressor has been finished. Rifle Suppressors are better. Okay, might be time for us to start moving across onto those. No, we're going to need to sell previous things, so... What we can do is we can we can start transferring these across as they get made. We are so poor right now. Deadpan, more drugs, stuntman. Ooh, actually no, let's uh, let's go for TST first, and then we'll keep treating Smash and then free it. I think. Okay, back in the day, Fortress spent 10 years in the military prison. He was mistreated and tortured and tried to track down his jailer ever since. He was set free, got word in the jailer's location, and wants it's revenge. We don't have the money to hire a hitman. Well, let him go. So we lost Fortress. Fortunately, we didn't have the money to hold on to him. Not a great deal we can do about that. Body engineering is done. Uh, let's let's get frigate going. And you know what? I'm actually going to sell some of our guns that we're not using, just to give us that money that we so desperately need. Yeah, we'll sell the SV. We'll keep the AMR. That's a that's a good amount of money. I wish I'd done that before. Could have just hired a hitman and it would have been fine. Although, you know, he might feel a bit better after doing it himself. Uh, so we could do one more signal analysis job. Uh, we've got to wait until the marquee device picks up new leads. So we may as well try and assign someone to it. Uh, who is good at this? Uh, well, let's actually put Smash on it. You don't need to be good at it, you just need to not be doing anything else for the moment. That being said, I'm not massively keen on that kind of, that style of forced um, base progression. I know it's useful for from a plot point of view, um, but in that case we already had a signal analysis area and it just feels like it was a little bit of a lazy way of handling it. Right, we're going to take Frigate out and uh, we're going to take Jackson out. No, let's let's uh, let's take Doctor again. Yeah, we'll we'll take Doctor in. Uh, use a disguise, and uh, this should be fine. Yeah. So uh, this is to protect one of our informers. Operation Fearsome Cannon. Conspiracy operatives are attacking one of our informers. Protect the asset and eliminate the opposition. Rescue the informer. Evacuate upon completion. And kill all the hitmen. It's a secondary objective, but really, we know we're going to do it. Unless something goes wrong, of course. Uh, now, our person... Oh, wow, well, they've actually been captured, captured. That is pretty well protected, I have to say. Uh, hmm. All right, so ways in. Here's a way in, but it's not really near any stairs. There's stairs over there. We've got two different ways of handling cameras and stuff, and we've got another way in over here. I think we're going to have to go for number one. Oh, actually, no, let's let's go for number two, because we can hop in through a window. Right. In terms of support, though, uh, that is definitely going to be the north side. All that lovely open space 
That is what I'm talking about. Our informer is about to be assassinated. Exfil them to safety. Base out. Exfil them to safety. I'm sure we can manage that. Okay, so in terms of hitmen, there is a hitman tagged there. Waiting on you. Frigate can't quite make it all the way through. Okay, well. I mean, as long as we've just got someone near the person, that's the important thing. So in terms of deactivating I'm here. these, we can't hop through that. We can hop through this one, but we're going to get seen by this guy. Nice and helpfully. It's like, cheers, buddy. You're being very, very useful in your job. Doctor, on the other hand, can oh, that's locked. Jeez, this isn't this is not going nicely for us, is it? All right, we'll get Doctor working on the cameras. Waiting on you. And we'll get Frigate working on the assassin. Uh, Frigate, you are an actor. That's fine. So we can actually just run you straight towards them. I see you, Agent. Hmm, might be a bit much. Hey, uh. Let's try and not draw too much attention to ourselves right now. Oh, they're they're going to be annoying as well, I can tell. That's alright. We'll, we'll work it out. Uh, we need to take the Agent first, though. convenient they've actually come towards us so they're not in sight of any cameras or anything well in that case it would be rude not to we could just leave them to bleed out but while we're here we may as well get more stuff uh Come back to them, actually, because we're going to need to stabilize them, whether or not we take them out. You know what? Just go go crazy on hitting everyone that you can. Hey, yeah. Can we come at it from an angle? Not really. But if we come over here, we'll be able to charge it in next turn. And that'll be good enough. Now we just have to hope that no one patrols in. Right, I don't see anyone running around, so... Can we... That chair! That chair is... Right. The chair is just in the wrong place. Can you make up Frigate, can you... Frigate can take him out. That person is going to have to wait for another turn. Alright, well. Deadpan can do this. So now we've got a way out the front. Where are we going to evac to? It's going to be right here. Extraction order confirmed. This is going to be fun. You can carry on doing a little bit of looting, and I think we'll run out and grab that person and put them over there. Hey, uh. It's all part of the plan, people. All part of the plan. Uh, right. Where do we need to go to get upstairs? Pretty much anywhere out in that. Oh no, no, this bit works. Okay. Uh, 
So if we come outside, then we can go in and up there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Out you go, deadpan. Also means we can keep an eye on the outside just to make sure that no one's going to patrol in. So, deadpan, get up to this doorway. Oh, we can actually see him through there. That's not great. Uh, right. Pick up agent. We'll send doctor out to the evac point and drop it off and stabilize them. Why are we here again? Uh, in the meantime, we can get more stuff looted. So, starting over here, we've got some intel that needs grabbing. Hey. You look fine, but I want you to have more move before we move you in there. Ready to kick ass. Just don't get spotted, Doctor. Totally not suspicious. I really need to stop running into rooms and doing stuff that could get us caught. One day I'm going to run in and there'll be someone standing in the room and I'll be like, uh, damn it. Uh, right, anything in this room over here? No. So nothing there. Nothing here, but there is a way upstairs, so that'll be perfect for us. Now, this is not actually trespassing in this foyer area. So we can... Step through. Have a little look. Close it up, and let's actually just step in here for the moment. Totally stealthy, totally sneaky. Our ultra stealth battle wagon doing what it does best, making lots of noise. Right. In terms of loot, there's one more bit of loot and two more classified docks. Uh, let's drop this agent off first. Oh, why do you have to do it that way? That is just so inconvenient. I'm going to pick them up. And next turn, I'll drop them off the other way around. It's just like, you could have done it that way. Okay, uh, so Intel, that's what we were talking about. There's a briefcase there. That'll probably have something. Let's go have a look. And while you're doing that, we can step just out here for the moment. And it looks like we've got one, two, three guards. Good job they didn't spot us coming through that security door. That's what I have to say. These guys are going to be difficult to take out with so many civvies in play. That's alright. He can just stay there and watch. Uh, let's 
bring Doctor in, and we can send Doctor upstairs. So, let's try this again. Put down. And then we'll stabilise. Oh, All that's going on. This time. You can knock this person out. Are you sure? So that we can grab this. And then have a look out in this corridor just to make sure we're not gonna have anyone patrol in. Uh, in terms of other loot upstairs, there is one more document that we need to go for anyway. So that works well. Yeah, Deadpan's not in a great place. At least these these agents are all over the shop. He's gonna come this way, so let's let's get down here. And we can wait out their movement. We might be able to get lucky and do like a double whammy of stuff. So that civilian's going to move that way. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. He's going to turn around. But probably won't see if we kill this guy. Probably. It's an option. In fact, you know what? Let's, uh, let's bring Doctor around and Doctor can actually help with this. That'll be a lot safer. You make up your mind already? So, Frigate, you were going to come across here. Let's step in first. Two out of three classified docks. There is still one more left somewhere. Uh, was it actually in the room with our person? Oh no, it was in the far room. That's okay. He's going to turn around. He's not going to do anything. He's going to turn around, but depending on how he moves. Yeah, their vision radius isn't actually that that large. It's one, two, three, four, five. So if he moves to here, one, two, three, four, five, he shouldn't be able to see. Is what I'm thinking. And next time we just tidy up the body. It'll be fine, he says. Hoping. Yeah, it takes a fire point in order to do that, so we'll uh, we'll leave that as it is. Uh, you're done. Didn't see anything. Just out of his vision radius. Don't know where you're going to put that, mate. It will be super secretly stashed away. That's what it will be. Uh, on this side, I want to send you upstairs. Not quite going to be enough damage to do that. Uh, what is it this time? Uh, we need to bring you across as well. So yeah, let's let's keep up on top. Ah, oh, there was someone in there. Who knew? What's cooking? Uh, that's it for this turn. 
Should just be able to knock this person out. They're not going to be that much of a threat. Right, you're going to move sort of around so you will see. You're not going to move. Yeah, it's your movement that's going to cause us issues. So we'll hold off for a turn on that. We will take you out though. No need to tidy up his body. No one's going to see that. No one in there either. Lovely. Okay, he's staying still. He's moving across further. He's staying still. So we could take out another one. Take out this guy. Never gets old. No, don't attack. Like, step next to them. This should scratch the itch. VIP released. Affirmative. Get ready, Faxville. And to Axville, we just need to get over here. So that's actually going to be really nice for us. Uh, you want to come in and grab this. And that uh, ties this up the last of the documents as well. Good job. Xerxes, let's get you out to the open. Totally don't see. Dispose of this guy. No one's any the wiser. Everyone's just assuming these guys are going on break. Still don't know where we're stashing them though. It's not like there's many places to hide them around here. The weight is killing me. Uh, let's get Xerxes down. In fact, at this point, I think we'll just get everyone extracting around the front, Why are we around the front. Yeah, let's do stuff. Uh, what is it this time? We don't need to take out every person. Got to leave at least one left alive so they go. Oh, I don't know what happened. This is gonna be fun. So it's just gonna be deadpan next turn to bring in, and then we can depart. Pan, can you make it? He can. Look at that. So, evac for the team. And we will call that another perfect stealth mission. I say perfect. We did leave someone standing. Do we get more experience killing people, knocking them out? I don't think so. But uh, we also got all of the equipment and all the classified documents. So either that's going to give us more drugs, more trade contacts, or more intel. So we got the titanium firing pin. Cool. Plus two damage. Not sure how that improves the damage, but apparently it does. More medium armor. Another EIW. So AMR and Wembley. Clubfoot. That's a terrible name for an agent. And uh, some intel, which is really good for us. Xerxes, 
uh, has been added to our roster as well. Uh, so Xerxes, you're level 8. Jeez, you're actually pretty good. Uh, let's give you... Uh, let's give you low profile because that is useful. Add actor because actor is always good. Uh, so we're actually going to want to give you a Wembley and an M12. So you can become one of the uh, titanium firing pin. Yeah, so you can become one of the potential actors. And on that, actually, uh, let's give you this CCTV training. So you're going straight in for that. I'd say that's uh, that's pretty solid, actually. Uh, right, Intel. That's what I wanted to have a quick look at. We do have another thing for in here. So, Aldrich Armes, Shogun Red Accounts. Let's have a look. Don't see them anywhere. Yeah, that is nothing just yet. Okay, we've got more intel for the other files. So uh, over here we've got Digger Jaws, we've got Crusoe, we have Aruba Bay, and Letter Bomb. Well, that's not going to get us very far. And over here, Baby Driver, Digger Jaws, and Enfant Terrible, which likewise shows us nothing. A slow day for intel. Uh, right, seeing as people are back from missions, we can get them back working again. Uh, Frigate, you can go in there. In the workshop, uh, Amster and Jackson are working. That's good. Analytics, that's good. Comms, that's good. No one is there. Uh, so, who is going in for more drugs? Uh, it's probably going to be Stuntman at this point, actually. So that drops uh, blocks Gonna Thingy. Gonna Thingy box Anadrol. We don't have Anadrol, so let's get that one going for the moment. And I think that's probably going to be a good point for us to finish this episode off. Um, in fact, one last thing we could do, we can get something Faraday Cages. Reduces danger build up from having agents in the cells. Uh, it's going to be a while before these guys are done and then we're going to need to kill them. Um, but it'd be good to reduce the amount of danger increase we get from capturing enemy agents. Um, but as I said, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, we are still waiting for the marquee device to pick up some new leads for the signal analysis. Might be a little bit of time. We don't know. Um, but nevertheless, if you are enjoying this, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phantom Doctrine. See you soon.